this is an activity I do in Art Sharks with my class. Um, we usually have wood and nails. We do it with yarn. But we are going to be very creative and do some things that are around the house. So, I'm going to show you my finished product. So this is what the basic um, string art that we're doing today will look like. I used the poster board, I used push pins or thumbtacks, and then I used a cardboard box uh, because the push pins go through and it really protects um, me. Yes, I just used a Cheerios box from my children's cereal. Uh, it's the perfect size and it really worked out. So. I'm gonna go over how I did this from start to finish. I just wanted to show you the finished product and we will go ahead and get started. So the first thing I did, I'll take this off. The first thing I did was I used uh, the poster board. You just need any type of thicker paper that um, will hold when you use the push pins. So uh, poster board, card stock, you can even cut out the other side like of another like cheese it box, goldfish box, or you know cereal box, because that's a good, um, thickness to use that will really hold the push pins in place. Uh, okay, so I folded my poster board in half and then I set it on my box. Next, I wanted a round shape. Artist, you can use any shape you wish. You can do a heart, you can do square, rectangle, triangle, um, but for this lesson I wanted to do a circle because I feel like that was symmetrically and it's pretty easy to learn the basics of string art. So I grabbed a kitchen bowl. Um, and then I set it on my paper and I traced around it to do a circle. You could use a protractor uh, or any type of round shape if that's the shape you're going to start with. So I have my circle. Next, I'm going to start with my push pins. I started at the top, okay? You want to use a ruler and then measure so that your push pins are equally spaced apart. And then I did the bottom. And then I started on this side, and then I did opposite. So I just kind of worked opposite, and I and did the center of these two, and I put the push pins in about equal distance. So I have an even number of push pins. I used 16 push pins in this particular uh, design. All right. So next, you'll need like string, thread, yarn, any type of string that's long enough to go around. I have this stretchy string at home because I wanted black to show up really well on this white for you. Uh, and so I, that's why I chose black. And I'm going to show you how I did this. So I just tied one, sorry, I just tied one um, end to one of the push pins on the top part. Not underneath, like the, because mine have caps, like the top part right there. And then when you start going around, make sure you don't pull too hard. Because when I do this with uh, art sharks, we have, you know, we've hammered nails into wood, so we can have a little bit of pull there because it's a little bit stronger. So just kind of be gentle. If not, you're going to bend the, uh, the push pins in. And um, we don't want to do that because that can mess up our overall project. Sorry, can you see? Okay. All right, so I started, I just started at the top. Could be the bottom, the side, whichever. So I started here. And then I just go around the opposite again. I'm going to have to keep this whole pattern the same while I go around. So I just went around and down, around and down, all the way around, keeping the same, the same pattern. I'm doing the same thing. Now I have to pull it enough where it won't come off of these push pins, but um, that's not difficult to do. Okay, so now I'm back to the beginning, so I'm going to do one more loop. Then I'm going to stop. At this point, you can be done. It's beautiful. You can also get really creative. If you have a lot of different colors of string, you can tie this one off. You would just tie it around the top, and then you could start a new color. And you could start that color on any of these, and it, it would it fill in all the white gaps. Because the more you do this, the more it will fill it in, and it will look like um, a complete... A complete circle or whatever shape you have. Online there are some resources for some um, of the stringer. Once you feel comfortable that are a little bit more challenging where you can go across, you can make zigzags and designs, you could do initials, you could um, do different shapes like a bird, all sorts of things um, with the same idea. So artists, I hope that this was something that you liked. In the end you would just tie this off and you would have your piece done. And again, if you happen to have um, 
nails and some extra wood at your house and you want to try it uh, and it's okay with your parents to use those supplies, go ahead. I would love to see any uh, finished pieces of um, art if you want to send it to me, but then I would just tie this off. I'm going to keep working on it a little bit and see what I can do, but here you go. And at the end of the day, I think you guys will have fun with this and I will see you next time for another art lesson. Bye!